friends. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take a regular old paper weaving like this, like what we made in a previous video, and turn it into one of these sweet Native American style pouches. Isn't this cool? Um, it opens up right here so you can actually put things inside of it which makes it functional. Uh, it looks really really neat and you can stay tuned um, and look out for the next video that I will be putting up which will show how to add a handle or string to hang this from and then fringe or some kind of bead decoration that you can have at the bottom. So they're pretty cool. Let's get started. All right, so first we need to draw our design. Remember, you need to stick with simple shapes. Geometric shapes are great, or anything that you've seen in an example of traditional Native American weaving. I'm gonna start with a circle, and so I'm gonna draw this circle on one of these light brown squares. Then I'm gonna repeat this shape on every single light brown square to create a pattern in my design. Next, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my dark brown squares, and I'm going to select a different simple shape to draw on each of my dark brown squares. So I'm going to do a half circle. Now on this first row of dark brown squares, I'm going to make my half circle facing up. Then on the next row, I'm going to make them facing down. So this will create a pattern within this larger pattern. Now I need to add one more shape into the squares that are between the ones I've already done. So that's the tan squares. I'm going to go ahead and just do triangles. My first column of triangles is going to point right. Then the next column of triangles is going to point left. And this is going to switch back and forth across the paper, uh, similar to how the half circles flipped up and down as you moved across my paper. If this seems too complicated or you don't like the way this looks, you can make all of your shapes going in the same direction. They don't have to change. I just think this adds a little more interest to the design. When you're done drawing your shapes on each of the squares, you also need to add a design that runs along each side of your paper to fill up those two empty spaces. This design can match what you've already created on your paper, or you can use new shapes for this design. I suggest trying to make something that kind of goes with the style of your overall design for this project. The next step is you need to trace every single shape with Sharpie. This will help your line stand out better. Try to cover the pencil completely and keep your Sharpie even and neat. When you're finished with your Sharpie, look for any areas where you might have missed the pencil line and go ahead and erase those. The next step is you want to color each of the shapes you've drawn. There are a lot of different materials you can use to color these shapes. One option is, of course, paint. So for my half circles, I wanted to create a custom light brown color. So I got brown and white temper paint, and I'm going to mix them together to go ahead and paint these shapes. I'm going to use the same color for that same shape all the way across my paper to continue with the pattern and the symmetry of my design.
If you like the look of the temper paint, you can use different colors for each of your shapes. However, another option for filling in your shapes is construction paper crayons. So I'm going to use a couple different neutral colored construction paper crayons for my remaining shapes. I'm going to go ahead and use this brown on all of the triangles. I'm going to use this gray construction paper crayon to neatly color in each circle. I'm going to use a few different neutral colored construction paper crayons to color my pattern that run along the sides. The next step is to add details to your shapes to make them look more interesting and to also possibly make them more symbolic. Uh, you can add details using the construction paper crayons or Sharpies. Details can be simple lines, dots, or smaller shapes added within your design. The key to your details is that if you add a detail to one shape, you need to repeat that detail every time that shape repeats. For example, I'm adding these three white lines to my half circles. That makes my half circles kind of look like setting suns. And I'm going to add the same three lines to each of my half circles. Next, you're going to need to gather the materials to transform your paper weaving into a pouch. You're going to need one or more neutral colors of yarn. I actually grabbed two different colors. Scissors, a hole punch, and some glue. The first step is you're going to turn your paper weaving upside down and you're going to fold it in half like a book so that your design is on the outside. Position your paper weaving so that the fold is at the bottom of your desk closest to you. You want the open end to be at the top and then you're going to open it up and put glue along the right and left side to create your pocket. I suggest doing one dot of glue on each square going along each side. After you have the glue along the two sides, you're going to fold the weaving closed so that you have a fold at the bottom and the right and left side are closed and glued shut. The top should not have any glue. That's your opening to your pouch. And you need to press down each side and hold them until the glue sticks. Once your glue is dry, you want to add yarn along each side. This will reinforce your sides so that they don't come undone and make it look more like an authentic Native American pouch. You're going to take your hole punch and you're going to hole punch each side uh, from the top all the way to the bottom. You don't want to put your holes too close to the edge because when you put your string in, it could tear through. You also don't want to put your holes too deep into the pouch because then you're taking space up inside the pouch with the string and it could also create tears. So about a quarter of an inch to a half inch from the side is best. You're going to hole punch all the way along the right side and the left side of your paper weaving. Next, you're going to add yarn along each side of your paper weaving in the holes you just punched. So you're going to take one of your colors and unroll it. You want to have a little bit more than about twice the length of the side that you're adding yarn to. Um, extra yarn is fine. You can just cut off the extra you don't need. 
You're going to start by stringing it through that top hole. And you want to make um, it even on both sides. And then you're going to tie a knot. And remember, a simple knot is just a crisscross and under knot that you do twice. Pull the crisscross and under all the way to the side of the bag. Uh, to get your yarn to go through the holes, it's best if you twist the end so it's tight. Now the first string, the first piece of yarn, you're going to run all the way along the side going from back to front. So you're going to put it in through the back of the hole and pull it out through the front. And you're just going to work your way down the side. The second piece of yarn, you're going to go along the side the opposite way. So you're going to push it in from the front of the hole and pull it out the back. This will create a crisscross yarn design going down the side of your pouch. Once you get to the bottom, you should have both pieces of yarn, one sticking out on each side, and you're going to take them and tie them off. You can tie them in a crisscross and under knot, or you can make them into a bow to add uh, more decoration. And you just repeat this step for the other side. You can use the same color of yarn on both sides, or you can use two different colors of yarn if you wish. All right, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you made a really cool Native American style uh, paper weaving pouch. Uh, remember, you can look out for the next video I put up, which will show how to make a handle for these and how to add some bead decoration along the bottom to just make them that much cooler. All right, thanks for watching.